Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to take a stab at doing some predictive grouping in Alteryx. Uh, and with that, we're actually going to go ahead and use a sample data set that I grabbed from Kaggle, which gives us some customer data uh, gathered from a mall. So I've got some fields like our gender, our age, the income, as well as a spending score, which goes from 1 to 100. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is actually go ahead and start to figure out which customers are similar based off the characteristics. So to do this, we can go ahead and drag in our K-Centroids uh, cluster analysis block and select the different numerical values that we want to use. So let's take the age, income, and spending score, as well as the number of clusters that we want this to produce. For this example, I'm going to choose three. Uh, and we can also add a browse after the report anchor, which is going to give us a statistical report of all the different things that this block has found. Um, so once this finishes running, we'll be able to go ahead and dive into that report. There we go. And what this can show us is, first of all, where all the different clusters actually lie within this uh, within this chart. So we can see here's cluster 1, uh, cluster 2 is over there, and cluster 3 is there at the bottom. We can also start to see the different analyses that we can get or, uh, from this uh, data set as well. So we can see cluster 1, the age is around 40, annual income around 44k with a spending score of about 49. Uh, cluster 2, the age is slightly less than uh, the age of cluster 1, clocking in at around 32 years of, old, uh, years of age. Uh, annual income of a just shy of 30, uh, just shy of 86k, uh, with a spending score of just over 82. Uh, interestingly, our third cluster has an age that's very similar to that of cluster 1, uh, but the annual income, on the other hand, is pretty much double what cluster one had uh, coming in at 87. What this shows us though, is that the spending score actually has dropped pretty significantly. So we've got a spending score here of just over 18.6, uh, whereas the, the real target audience for us is really this middle range, uh, this cluster two, where we've got a younger demographic uh, who have a lot more annual income, so a lot more disposable income in their pocket, because those are the people who are the most likely to, to start spending um, at our mall. So with just adding one block, we've been very quickly uh, able to start to perform that sort of analysis. Uh, and really the last thing that we want to do here is go ahead and append the different clusters that Alteryx has provided us for each of our different customers. Uh, drag it in from our data as well as that uh, k centroid analysis block and what that's going to do is give us an additional column which you'll see in just a second uh, just giving us the, the the cluster associated to that particular customer uh, so there we go we can then see all the different uh, clusters uh, attached to to our customers so there you have it clustering done in around three ish tools uh, if we count this browse or not um, and Please try this out on your use cases. Let us know how you get on. Um, and if you need any further assistance, check out the, the Alteryx community for more help, tips, and advice. Cheers. Thank you so much. Take care.